Wow, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and I gotta talk about an opportunity that I've been telling people about for a minute, but I have to reiterate because some people will miss this boat who have a legitimate opportunity to use this, and that is using e-gaming live streams for your own promotion. You have to understand that esports is a real thing. As a matter of fact, just as a symbol of the traction they're having in esports right now, it's been recently announced that Scooter Braun and Drake have invested in 100 Thieves. Now, if you don't know who 100 Thieves are, it's actually a company. They're a lifestyle esports brand. You can find out more about that company at the link in the description below, but the business is booming. That company alone has raised $25 million over the last two years. Drake even hopped on a Fortnite live stream earlier this year. Why? Because there's a lot of visibility there. I know some of you have heard about games like Fortnite and a lot of these other games, but you have to understand that it's a legitimate culture that has been on the rise for years and in the last few years it's just becoming stronger and stronger people are getting million dollar prizes for winning tournaments people pack out stadiums just to watch other people play games but at the same time it's a completely undervalued route for marketing a lot of people haven't even realized how to truly penetrate it outside the top of the top of the top of the influencers who are doing esports live stream gaming the main platform is twitch that's where a lot of it blew up on but you can not only just use twitch you can also you look at mixer that's microsoft's competitive platform to twitch and you might have a good opportunity there because there's less competition on the platform at the time. That's only to your benefit. The first movers usually get most for the least value. Once they start getting more brands and sponsorship offerings, it's gonna be harder and harder to use that route for your form of marketing and advertising. Now, so when we look at these games, you gotta realize one of the most organic experiences is people listening to music when they play games. You hear a lot of gamers do it all the time. If you've watched streams, I've watched streams and tournaments in the past. Find somebody to reach out to. I knew somebody who was gonna build their entire artist strategy on getting into Twitch streams. As a matter of fact, they were gonna create their own stream and then as they build themselves up, they were gonna continue to play their music as a part of playlists in the background so they could capitalize off of that. Just take the same theory when people talk about getting on vloggers platforms and so many of these other platforms when we look at Instagram and on influencer pages, it's the exact same thing for Twitch, but a lot of people still are not taking it seriously. A lot of people build things up on Discord. If you don't know about Discord, that's the chat that gets used a lot in relation to Twitch. Look up Discord, look up Twitch if you don't know what it is, look up Mixer if you don't know what it is, but these are true opportunities that I have to do a video on just so you guys could once again do your own research, find somebody that might match with you, that might actually like your music, and see if you could get on with them. Before I get out of here in this video, I gotta mention one thing that's really important when it comes to gaming and just analyzing these streaming types of platforms or influencers. Unlike Instagram, YouTube, and so many of these other platforms you check out, you aren't necessarily gonna be looking at the subscribers they have or followers they have as heavily. Kind of like you might check out the views a YouTuber typically gets, and there's something called ACV, right? And that's essentially the average amount of viewers watching a streamer at any given time. Time. You want to be able to check and get an idea of what that might look like. I'm just going to make up some numbers right now, but let's just say this person has 10,000 followers, but for whatever reason, their ACV is only 20 people at any given moment. Then when you get shouted out, that shout out will happen, but maybe only 20 people will see it. And what real value is that to you? Now, it's a very hard platform to actually penetrate, but that's just the groundwork that a lot of artists have to do at the very beginning. A lot of brands are having trouble. There's a platform called Power Spike that's working on this, but they're not really necessarily looking to do sponsorships with small level artists and things like that at the time. If one of y'all has some kind of big check, maybe y'all could reach out to them. But anyway, I would love to know what you guys think. As always, have you used any kind of streaming platform or if you use Discord, something like that to grow your music base or get any more listeners? How did it work out for you? I know I've talked to people who've done that kind of stuff before. Other than that, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe.